Another big name Republican has come forward to say he won't be voting for Donald Trump. Paul Ryan, former Speaker of the House during the first two years of Trump's presidency, says he'll write in another Republican's name instead of voting for Trump. Listen to his explanation here. You said I'm against Biden on policy, against Trump on character. Trump bad on NATO, bad on alliances, bad on Europe, bad on trade. You've been very clear yeah. about your opposition to President Trump. With that said, the options are Trump and Biden right yeah. now. Go ahead. Is there a vote for Trump in here? If given a choice, not for me. I, look, I understand. No the, I understand the binary argument. It's a reasonable argument. I just don't agree with that argument. I just character is too important to me, and 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 it's a job that requires the kind of character that he just doesn't have. Having said that, I, I really disagree with Biden on policy. I wrote in a Republican the last time. I'm going to write in a Republican this time. Though Paul Ryan isn't in public office anymore. To have a recent Republican Speaker of the House come out against Trump is pretty significant. And to do this so publicly shows that he isn't scared of any repercussions from Trump. In fact, Paul Ryan said last year that if the Republican Party nominates Donald Trump, they'll lose the 2024 election. So I'm guessing that Paul Ryan is admitting what so many of us know. The path to victory for Trump is quite slim. That doesn't mean it won't be a close race in November. But Trump and the Republicans are doing everything they can to lose at this point. However, Paul Ryan stopped short of saying he would vote for Biden. And that's unfortunate. Paul Ryan is from Wisconsin, a crucial battleground state that Biden won in 2020 by about 0.6% or 21,000 votes. By not voting for Biden, Paul Ryan risks allowing Trump to win. I know it's asking a lot for Republicans to vote for President Biden, but we have a lot of time between now and the election, so perhaps Paul will change his mind. Paul Ryan's statement about not voting for Trump comes on the heels of other notable Republicans coming out against Trump. Last week, Jeff Duncan, the former Lieutenant Governor of Georgia, said he will be voting for President Biden. This is also a pretty high profile defection from the Republican Party. It wasn't long ago that Jeff Duncan was a rising star in the Republican Party. And like Paul Ryan, Jeff Duncan pointed to Trump's personal flaws as the reason for him switching his vote to Biden this year. He said he would be voting for a decent person over a criminal defendant without a moral compass. You say you're going to vote for President Biden. There's been a lot of criticism, I'm sure, coming your way for doing just that or saying just that. How do you respond to people who say, then have a third party option, write someone else in, but why vote for a Democrat? Look, sometimes the best way to learn your lesson is to get beat and Donald Trump needs to get beat. We need to move on as a party. We need to move on as a country. And certainly I've got concerns with some of the policies that President Biden follows. And I hope to be able to, like many other Republicans, uh, be able to sway their influence on immigration and other issues that we disagree with wholeheartedly. But look, to think Donald Trump's wholeheartedly a, a conservative is just fake news at its finest. Donald Trump's not a conservative. He, he rationed $8 trillion worth of debt during his presidency. He told us he was going to build a wall. He built a, a, photo, a photo station uh, down, at the, uh, down at the border. This guy's a fake Republican. We have to move on as Republicans. We have to. Besides these high profile Republicans, it seems like a lot of Republican voters are still unhappy with Trump. The state of Indiana held their primary last night and almost 22% of voters, 128,000 people chose Nikki Haley instead of Trump. This comes two months after Nikki Haley dropped out of the presidential race. Republicans will cope and say this was an open primary, so a lot of those votes were from Democrats. But in what world do Democrats participate in an uncompetitive GOP primary when it's hard enough to get people out to vote for an exciting election? I say very few of those voters last night were Democrats or Biden voters looking to send a message. Donald Trump and the Republican Party have a serious problem if they're losing one out of five voters this late into the nomination process. I believe we'll see a lot more people come out against Donald Trump as we get closer to the election. Let's hope more Republicans have the courage to go against Trump and do the right thing for our country.